Hey guys, just going on with Sandman and it's another boss. <laughs> hey guys, let's start again. Hey guys, it's Sandman and I'm going to be doing another um, Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 quick strategies thing that I've been doing lately. Um, this one's to do with Blanca. Blanca is is a very unusual character compared to the cast. Um, he, he's got a lot of things that can go in his favour and not in his favour. So, I'll show you a couple of things now. Right, obviously I always start off with this. Let's start off with his pokes. Um, his pokes is pretty good. Um, he's got this. This is a, that's a viable poke. That's if you don't know what a poke is, it's poking is basically not to get really damage. It's basically to get inside, work your opponent back into the corner, where the likes of Blanca can be deadly with mix-ups. Um, his pokes consist of his light punch, standing light punch. Standing like hit punch, standing like punch and crouching like punch can be a poke. Standing like kick at this range can be a poke. The standing medium punch is definitely a really good poke because it's like full ra full range. There's a lot of distance and 80 damage is pretty good for a poke. And um, that is not a poke. Standing heavy punch and that is not a poke. I'll show you the uses for them later. Um, but he's a charge character. Um, he's got a couple of decent um, moves here. So, for instance, he's got his blanca ball. Which is hold back for two seconds and forward and, forward and the pump pump. All, all the. I'll push him full screen. Um, all of his blanker balls do different distances. That was his light one, that's his medium one, and that's his full one. I'd say if you're going to use any, use his light one, because balling from full distance like this is not safe anyway. Especially if it's not EX. But what you can do, which is pretty tricky, you can use his um, medium punch ball to get close and you stop right in front of him there if it's full screen. So if it's against a non-fireball character and he's turtling, like Balrog, you can just go rawr and you'll stop right in front of him. But all that a character needs to do is mask the jab on a regular ball and it can stuff the ball easily, so not recommended from full screen. But if you're around this distance, if you're around like here, a ball can be pretty useful and it's hard to punish on this game um, because you know on AE it will be because you'll stop half the distance away so it can be punished you can't throw banger balls all day but still you can be punished um, is, he's got another up ball it's called where you go straight up in the air this one's pref preferably used as an anti-air um, it's really good I use his like kick version when I'm, when I'm using him um, you go straight up and you'll knock him straight out of the air it's really good anti-air no one can jump in on blanker it's like a rule um, his other ball is, he's got this one, where you hold back and down for two seconds. Okay, I failed, I got a trip instead. It's that one. This one, I don't use at all, really. Um, if I'm going to use it, I'll use the EX version. Say, for instance, you're stuck in a corner, and Ryu is hitting you with block strings, and you're stuck in the corner. That is a really good way to get up. Um, unless he reads it, and he stops you getting out the corner, it's a really good way to get out the corner. But what you can do with this, you can control the ball in midair. So you can go forward and hold backwards, and yeah, it can basically you can basically stop and start where you want it. You can bait them into a move or figure out different strategies with it. It's really good. You can cross them up, which is cool. So for instance, you put right over here. Oh, I've done the up ball, the X up ball. Um. You can cross him up and go back over his head and spin back back and you'll get him. Um, he's got a couple of good combos. Which I'm not able to land because I'm not really a blanker player. I'm just showing you a couple of easy strategies. But it's, it's uh, uh, and then do that and then go into the blanker ball. That's his basic combo. Um, his medium kick is really good. It can start off a lot of combos. Um, you can, you can, apparently you can do is... You can cut. You can. You can link into a super from this. I don't like his ultra raw super. I think it's trash. But you can usually link. It's a run frame link, so it's really hard. You can link his medium kick into his ultra. But that is incredibly hard to do. Um, he's got another cool trick, which is his hop. His hop it goes through the opponents, and this is where everyone's mix up come into play. Um, you can do a lot of things. You can jump over, jab, hop, and do a lot of things, you know. You can mix up, jab, hop, throw. That was my usual trick when I played Blanca for a while.
Right, let's talk about electricity. Um, what I usually do is to get it out fast. I press, um, I keep on pressing the light punch, medium punch. It takes a certain amount of time until it comes out. But you can pretty much confirm when it comes out. That's one of his basic combos, is you can just smash light punch so heavy kick jab electricity. And it does a lot of damage for something so easy. You can do it on the cross up, I think. You can do, but don't use the X electricity, it's not worth it. Ah right, let's talk about that move. I um, might have just did by accident. Um this move goes under fireballs and is really good from this distance. Say if Ray from fireball, 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 bang, you hit him with that. Then it saves the X meter and it gives you a knockdown as well. So you can start off and mix up and get inside the blankets to get some of those grab things in. Because if you're doing the X follower, knock them down and you go further away from your opponent and you'll start all over again to try and get in. So I recommend if you can react to it, use this. And it goes really far as well across the screen. Look, that, I think that's max distance. Nope, they fell. That's max distance. So, about one and a half, well, two and a bit cubes, and that's max distance. Um, so yeah, Blanca is mainly relies on mix up because he can't get any free damage like some characters. Um, but still, I think he's a really good character. It takes a while to use him. So, let's talk about his Ultra and Super. Um, his Super is it's very comboable. You can combo into a lot of things with his Super. You can hold it. That's the main thing with Rocky. You can hold the super by pressing hold three, all three punch buttons. You can hold the super so it doesn't spin without holding it. It looks like this. It just skids it on the ground and hits them. Same amount of damage, but you can just hold. And I'll show you what this is useful for now. Say, for instance, you do his ultra from this close. You do a random ultra with Blanca. You can hit him, hold it, wait until he falls, and when he lands, bang! Hit him with the. You can you can land on your ultra and take lots of lots of damage. It's so ridiculous. You can. Right, let's show you again. Right, I missed it, but it does a lot of damage. It's ridiculous. One more time. There you go. Four hundred ninety-five damage. It's pretty good ultra. Um, it can be easily punished though with whiffs, so make sure you do it at a respectable time, you know, if you can react to someone doing a move or something. Um, let's talk about his anti-airs, which I forgot to talk about. Um, that is an anti-air crouching heavy punch. Stops pretty much everything jumping in on a certain angle from a certain distance. Um, if, you're if you're going to crush your up, um, use the blanker ball. Preferably um, the light punch one, that's what I usually use. If they're trying to crash you up, but if if you know it might whiff and jumping in from a distance, use that. Use the heavy kick version. Or if you know they're jumping in quite low and they're trying to hit you deep, use that. It's a really good move. The hitbox on that is huge. So highly recommend it. As you can see, I'm gonna whiff it from there. A little step forward. A bit more. And look at that. 100 damage off that. So it's a really good anti-air. Um you can use this electricity as an anti-air if you wanted, but I think that's not really viable, you can do it obviously if you keep on smashing it and no one can jump in. But if he empty jumps and you're like that, you can easily, you know, you're free and open to do what he wants. You can basically trip you up and start a mix up, you can ultra right there and then. So don't use electricity. Um, he's got this move, which which I don't really see the point of. Obviously you can combo from it, but, you know. This move, it's kind of like an anti because it covers his whole body. Um, but it's picking a time to use it, really. And um, that is a good anti air. If he jumps anywhere close to you, you can press this button and knock him straight out the air. Um, but mainly, it's, I think his best move is just doing an air to air. If someone if someone jumps in from a far distance, instead of doing this or the rainbow or all this, just 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 do an air to air um, because it's just going to work out easier, and you get a lot of damage of it. Um, so yeah, that that's Blanca in a nutshell. If you want to any, if you want to know anything more about Blanca, which you probably know already, 
but it's worth telling these people who are just getting the game. Um, yeah, if you want to know anything more about a certain character, let me know, and I'll get back to you. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and peace.